Howdy. It's day two of our vacation. This morning we walked back to the Fresno airport and caught a bus to Visalia and then from Visalia took another bus to Sequoia National Park. Uh, we had a reservation at Lodgepole Campground. So that's where I am right now at our campsite in Sequoia National Park. And we had a really fun day after we got here. We got to go see all the sequoias, which has been a dream of mine since I was a little girl. And I actually got really emotional, surprisingly, because I'm not, I don't normally feel like an emotional person, but I teared up a little bit actually uh, when I saw my first like giant tree. Uh, so that was a pretty incredible experience. And I got to you know, like walk amongst them and touch them and stuff today. And I was really surprised how fuzzy they felt. They have like all these little like bark hairs and stuff and they, they just felt cool to touch. So that was super fun. We did like a four mile hike today and we did like a little loop and then we walked from the museum to the General Sherman tree um, and we saw a bear, which was pretty cool. It was like down the hill from us. Um, some other hikers pointed it out to us. And we saw tons of lizards and birds and overall, like it was just a pretty awesome day. We were thinking about spending another day here and decided we we're ready to hit the trail. So tomorrow we're actually going to start on the High Sierra. So we got our permit for that today and I'm really stoked and a little nervous about that. But uh, I kept reading some more today for um, any time that we had wait times and I'm now about 19% of the way through the Siberiad by Stanislaw Lim. It's uh, very amusing so far. It reminds me of kind of the style in which Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is written. So I'm really enjoying those little short stories. And that's all I've got. Howdy. It is day three of the trip and our very first day uh, backpacking the High Sierra Trail, which was a lot. <laughs> we did 16 and a half miles today. Um, there was a campsite that was a popular first stop that we could have stopped at called Bear Paw Meadow, which was only like 11 and a half miles maybe. But Michael has done this trail once before and he was like, if we keep going only like four more miles, there's this beautiful lake and we can camp by the lake. And I was like, okay, that sounds cool. And even though I was really tired, even after the 11 miles, we like stopped and took a long break and then I rallied and we came here. And so this is, um, you can see of course the mountains behind me, that's my tent. Um, uh, but if I spin around here, you can see this amazing lake. It's called Hamilton Lake. Um, yeah, it's super gorgeous. There were just some um, deer down at the lake getting a drink, which was super cool. Oh, I'm so sore. Um, like I mentioned, I've only ever done an overnight backpacking trip and we have so much more weight in our packs for this trip um, because of all the extra food we need. Uh, we also got rained on a lot today.
you can see all of our stuff just like laying out on the rocks to dry. It's super duper beautiful here and because we hiked in the rain a lot today we got to see some really amazing waterfalls and streams just like cascading down the mountains as we were hiking uh, which felt super magical. Overall, um, I'm sore and I'm tired and I'm a little chilly just because my hair is still wet. So I'm planning to crawl into the tent and read for a little bit until I fall asleep probably because even though it's not that late, California time, Kentucky time, it is uh, getting, getting close to bedtime for me. So... <laughs> this is apparently what my hair looks like when I go to bed after being rained on half the day. I'm realizing more and more of the things that were in that bag of toiletries that were needed on this trip, like my spare contacts and my bag for collecting water. Uh, luckily Michael has one, so we're fine, but also my collapsible coffee mug was in there. This is Michael's, so he's letting me borrow it to be able to drink coffee this morning. But all of our stuff that we laid out to dry is still completely soaked. So... But on the positive side, it is freaking beautiful here. It is super duper beautiful. And I slept like a rock. Did you? And I tossed the turn like I normally do. <laughs> Michael slept really well. Yeah, I can't really complain because, like, look at where we are. But having a bunch of wet clothes that we either have to stuff in our bag with all of our dry stuff or, like, hang out somewhere while we hike is going to be an experience. So it's looking like it's going to be a beautiful day. Very excited for the hike ahead. Today was a really long day. <laughs> we had an awesome hike. We hiked from Hamilton Lake all the way to Moraine Lake, which was, according to my Strava, about 16 more miles, a little over, uh, like 16.2 or something. So that was today was actually an easier day, I thought, than yesterday, except for like the last two miles. Our feet just hurt so much <laughs> uh, that that we were in like death march mode, I think, for the last couple of miles. We saw some more awesome wildlife. We saw some deer. We saw some marmots, chipmunks, birds, things like that. Luckily, no bears so far, we other than Pika. the one at Sequoia. We saw a Pika, which was super cool. I've never seen a Pika in real life before. Um, oh, and yesterday we saw some awesome, like... I don't know. I'm going to say it was like a Western tanager or something, but I'll look it up and actually like put the picture in here and say what it actually was. But it was beautiful. It was like yellow and orange and it like posed for us a little bit, which was super cool. Yeah. Tomorrow we're going to go to a hot springs, which should be about midway through our day. And I'm super duper excited for that because a long hot soak sounds amazing. We just had dinner on this beach. Uh, Michael made some awesome like peanut noodles and now we're Gonna go set up our tent and probably fall asleep pretty soon after that because we are beat. But it's been a really awesome day and I'm so excited to be here in this amazing place.
it's day three of the High Sierra Trail and today according to Strava we went another 16 and a half miles but Michael's GPS tracker uh, consistently has said we've gone about two miles less every day than Strava has said so according to him we only went about 14 and a half miles today but we went from Moraine Lake to um, I don't actually know the name of the place we are but it's where uh, the trails converge in the Kern River Valley. Um, it's super beautiful. I'll give a whole panorama here in a minute, um, but the Kern River is right behind me. And today, midway through the day, we got to go to a hot springs, which was so awesome. It was like this uh, cement tub that had been built in and you just put like the little bung in and it fills up. And it was super duper duper hot, like way too hot. Um, so we just stuck our feet in at first and it was like kind of painful But then we went down and got in the river and got kind of chilly and then we got in the hot springs and it felt awesome after that So that was super cool. Our day today was also just like a lot less physically demanding We started the day pretty much just going downhill and we came uh, From up on the plateau down into this valley and we've been down in the valley all day So um, the second half of the day was pretty much um, you know, we went we went up and down, but it was all like in a valley, so it was no significant climbing or anything. I think we did like a thousand or two thousand feet of elevation gain, but over like many miles, so it wasn't a big deal. Yeah, just overall, I'm feeling a lot better today. My body's still very sore, um, but I think the break at the hot springs, combined with some ibuprofen and um, I don't know, I just, I like changed my shoes a couple times today to kind of put the pressure on different parts of my foot, so that helped as well. Uh, I didn't do any reading last night because I was too tired, uh, but I did read a little bit yesterday morning and I have, I'm not super tired right now, so I'm going to do plenty of reading tonight after dinner. Um, still on the Siberiad, I'm probably about halfway through that book. It's getting a little repetitive, I think, because it's like a series of short stories. Like all of the characters in the book are like mechanical, they're like ro robots or something. Very interesting, and the two main characters are called um, constructors, and they're like geniuses, and they can basically build whatever they want. But the stories are getting kind of competitive because it just follows them on like a little, little series of adventures. A lot of them are just like, some eccentric king has some weird problem, and they solve it with genius invention. Um, so they're still really cute, but uh, I'm hoping that they're going to change up the pace a little bit and have a little more variety uh, here at the end. So I'll, I'll give you guys a little bit of a look. This is the Kern River. The whole day that we followed it, it was like just a series of at least class two, some class three rapids the whole way down. Um, it was amazingly beautiful, but now this part of the valley is kind of flattened out, and so it's just a nice little stream. And then, of course, behind me, you can see the mountain. And then back there is our tent, and um, there's some other people's tents as well. Uh, but I'll give you the view downriver from where we are. Just lots of beautiful forest, and yeah, awesome awesome places that we got to go today. I'm super, super jazzed on it and looking forward to tomorrow is probably going to be our shortest miles day. Uh, we're only going to do about nine miles tomorrow, but we're climbing up out of this valley, so it's going to be a rough one. <laughs> so silly me in the <laughs> video check-in I did just now. I forgot to mention the biggest thing that happened today which was that Michael sliced his hand wide open while we were at the hot springs. Um, so he is all bandaged up. Show off, show off your hand. <laughs> um, it was a, like a really deep cut right here at his finger. And uh, luckily we brought like a full first aid, Michael brought like a full first aid kit. And, uh, but he went into <laughs> shock a little bit. Um, Got the bleeding stopped first. Yeah. So that was what, what was important. Pressure yeah. on the wound. <laughs> so... Yeah, that was a little bit scary for me because I was like, oh my god, I don't know where the first aid kit is and he's going in the shock. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? So I just like dumped the whole first aid kit out on the ground and I was like, tell me what to do. I want to help. I was super unhelpful. Um, but luckily Michael's very good with wilderness first aid. I definitely need to take a wilderness first aid course before I come out on a trip like this again. But yeah, Michael's doing okay. He's only been using like one trekking pole today. 
and Ziploc bags are difficult. Yeah, I've been assisting him a lot more with random tasks like zippers and Ziploc bags. So um, hopefully um, we're just going to leave it wrapped up tonight and then in the morning we'll, we'll open it up and check on it and, and rewrap it and hopefully it won't look too bad. But it was pretty deep, so <laughs> we'll see. Thank you.